Hi everybody, it's time for your farm and ranch news. Well, without question, the Milk River is the lifeline for Montana's High Line. Not only does it provide irrigation water for 110,000 acres, but also drinking water for communities like Chinook, Haver, Harlem, and Malta. But on May 17th, a concrete drop structure failed on the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation's Milk River Project, St. Mary Canal, northwest of Cutbank. Now the drop structure is the last of five that use gravity and siphons to convey water through the 29 mile long St. Mary Canal to the North Fork of the Milk River. Now the Bureau of Reclamation, along with stakeholders of the Milk River Project, are all assessing the current situation to determine the impacts of water users and of course options for restoring canal operation. This week I talked with one of those stakeholders, Wade Jones, a farmer and rancher and Milk River Irrigation District leader from Malta about the severity of the issue. We have good storage in Fresno. In fact, it's basically full and spilling a little. The Nelson Reservoir is also a big storage area for the Malta East Everything below the Malta District to the east and the Glasgow District is supplied out of Nelson Reservoir, and it's full. So we know we can get through the first irrigation. Uh, we just, then we got to, you know, kind of assess stuff at the end of June and, and see how far and how much water we have left to get through possibly a second irrigation. The estimated cost to fix the damage is around $5 million, and Montana's congressional delegation is urging the Bureau of Reclamation to make an emergency determination and fix the structure. Well, the Milk River is a critical source of water on the High Line. I'm deeply concerned how this crisis is going to impact the upcoming growing season for our farmers and ranchers. I've long been working on legislation in Congress to complete this water project. And with yesterday's news, it is urgent we get this done as soon as possible. Almost 18,000 Montanans depend on the Milk River water system to irrigate their crops and pasture and for drinking water. Wade Jones says time is of the essence to fix the St. Mary structure and keep the water flowing. Yeah, I don't even want to think about, you know, a year without water. But there is a possibility if we don't, get the help up there at them structures to get them fixed because we flow so much water in the fall to get our, our reserves and these reservoirs built up to where if we're unable to do that, uh, yeah, next year would be a very, very tough year. Now in the meantime, the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation says that once a plan and schedule for the repair of the canal are developed, water deliveries will be assessed and communicated. Additional details and updates will also be posted on the Bureau's Montana Area Office's website. Stay with us, we'll have more Ag News right after this. Well, this week, President Trump suggested that the United States should consider terminating trade deals that bring live cattle into this country. Now keep in mind that most cattle imported into the U.S. actually come from Mexico and Canada, thus falling under the new U.S. MCA agreement. However, a recent Trump administration decision to allow fresh beef imports from Brazil is something cattle organizations like the NCBA and others have urged the president to reconsider. Well, that's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.